Hey everybody, welcome to the Hockey Skate Down. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. If you want to join our hockey team, it's free. Click subscribe, hit the notification bell to all. Thank you all so much, and let's get started. The Devils released some pretty interesting news today that they signed three players to professional tryouts. So I want to talk about that in this video. Uh, talk about Dawson Mercer a bit. Uh, the Devils released a video today, really, um, you know, with the question and answer with Amanda Stein. That thought was very interesting. I'll talk about that. And Holtz may have a new number. You know, we all thought he may wear the number nine. If he does play this year for the New Jersey Devils, but it may be a different number. You know, there was a picture released today that he's wearing a different number skating around with the Devils. So please stay with me throughout. I'll talk about that all in this video. So the New Jersey Devils signed forward Jimmy Vesey, forward Mark Jankowski, and defenseman Tyler Wardespoon to PTOs, which are professional tryouts. So these three named players, um, you know, a lot of people may not be familiar with them. Uh, they're not those big name guys, those flashy names that, um, you know, they're just players that, you know, may help out on bottom lines or just to add depth. So Tyler Wotherspoon, basically an AHL defenseman. He last played in the NHL for the Calgary Flames in the 2016-2017 season. He's played in 30 NHL games. He has five assists, five points. Um, last season, 2020-2021, he played for the Lehigh Valley Phantoms in the AHL. He played in 24 games, 0 goals, 6 assists, 6 points. He is a 2011 second round pick of the Calgary Flames. 28 years old, left shot defenseman, 6'1", 203 pounds. Now this one was an interesting one to me. I think the Devils have enough depth on defense with the additions they made with Ryan Graves, uh, Dougie Hamilton, you have Smith, you have Severson, you have Siegenthal, you have Subban, you have Walsh, you have uh, Colton White, you have Kevin Ball. So you have players that can play outside of our top six. So this one was a very interesting one to me. I think this is more of an AHL move to add some more depth in there if he does have a strong camp uh, and possibly get signed to a um, maybe a two-way deal or just an AHL deal. So we're going to have to wait and see with this. But, um, you know, this one was a very curious one to me. Uh, Mark Jankowski, listed as a left-wing center, 6'4", 212 pounds, big frame. And uh, he's 27 years old. He's a 2012 first-round pick, 21st overall of the Calgary Flames. Um, he's played in 253 NHL games, 40 goals, 35 assists, 75 points. Uh, played last year for the Pittsburgh Penguins, 45 games, 4 goals, 7 assists, 11 points. Calgary Flames he played with in 2019-2020. Uh, 56 games played, 5 goals, 2 assists, 7 points. And for the Calgary Flames, had his best year in 2018-2019. He played 79 games, 14 goals, 18 assists, 32 points. So, um, you know, with Jankowski, you're definitely getting him for his size. He's a big guy. He's 6'4", 212 pounds. And with a lot of teams really bulking up and adding some um, big guys this, this uh, offseason, I think this may be the devil's answer to help him out in that regard. You know, getting that uh, fourth-line player who can add some physicality, throw the fists around if needed. You know, take some pressure off of Miles Wood. The Devils don't have the big team that really goes out there and bangs bodies and fights. So this may be a situation where they bring in Mark Jankowski to help out in that regard. So um, we'll see what happens with that. But, um, you know, it's a good thing to have, especially when you're playing these bigger teams that, you know, like to throw the body around with a lot of our smaller forwards. You're going to need players like this. So this may be one to definitely keep your eye out on. And let's go to Jimmy VZ. So flashback to a couple of summers ago when all the celebrities and all the professional sports players were trying to bring Jimmy VZ and have him sign with the New York Rangers. Um, you know, he played pretty well for the New York Rangers. I'll give him that. Uh, put up uh, seasons where it was close to 30 points. And one season, I think he was over 30 points. But the last couple of years has been really down with Jimmy VZ, uh, not putting up as much production. And, you know, not a lot of teams looking at him as much as they used to in the past. And, you know, being signed to a professional trial with the Devils, this may be that spark he needs to really get himself going. You know, he's played for big market teams with the Rangers, the Leafs, and the Sabres. So maybe playing with the Devils, you know, they're not a big market team. They don't have a lot of pressure like these other teams do. This may be a good situation for Jimmy Vesey where he could come in, concentrate on his game, and get it back to what it was the way he was when he came out of college and started his pro career with the Rangers. So, um... You know, talking about his stats a little bit, he's played, uh, last year he played, he split time between the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Vancouver Canucks. Uh, he played 30 games for the Maple Leafs, 5 goals, 2 assists, 7 points. Uh, 20 games for the Canucks, 0 goals, 3 assists, 3 points. So he had 5 goals, 5 assists, 10 points in um, 50 games. Uh, in 2019-2020, he played for the Buffalo Sabres, 64 games played, 9 goals, 11 assists, 20 points. 
And for his career with the NHL, he's played in 354 games, 64 games played, 56... Let me fix that. He played in 354 games, 64 goals, 56 assists, 120 points. So Jimmy Vesey plays both sides of the wing. He played left wing, right wing, 28 years old, 6'3", 202 pounds. So, you know, with Jimmy Vesey at this point, he's not going to be playing in those top two lines. He's more of a bottom two line guy. So he can add a bit more help with that, add a bit of depth. But, you know, at this point, I really didn't think the Devils would go this way. I think we have enough players to really round out the, the bottom two lines. So I'm curious to see how the situation goes, what kind of shape he comes in camp. I know Jimmy Vesey is going to be ready. He's, I remember seeing an interview he did when he was playing with the Sabres, going to the Maple Leafs, how he was trimming down. He was really concentrating on losing a lot of weight so he can be quicker and more agile out there. And, um, you know, we'll see if this offseason he brings the same mentality where he wants to be quicker to compete with the younger kids and really earn a spot with the Devils. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, these players are all depth moves, not necessarily anything to ride home about because they're not those big names that old Devils fans are looking forward to. So we'll have to wait and see what happens out of training camp if these three players can earn spots with the Devils or with the Utica Comets. Um, the Devils today were, were uh, promoting videos about Dawson Mercer. I know D Dawson Mercer is one of those names that a lot of Devils fans are highly anticipating. Uh, he looks good in the Devils practice jersey, so I can't wait to see him don the Devils jersey. But I think he's going to be a good player for us. He's talked about modeling his game after Patrice Bergeron, really focusing his game to... Either playing, you know, like they, like Amanda Stein was asking, are you more comfortable playing with center or uh, playing on the wing? And he said he'll play both, whatever helps the team out. But he really likes to concentrate on his center position, you know, playing that two-way game where he can focus on his defensive play, then help it transition to the offensive output. So um, I'm highly anticipating to see what Dawson Mercer has to offer. You know, they didn't show a lot of him. They showed him just skating around, but he looks quick out there. And he's got a cool head of hair, which I cannot say the same about. But, um, you know, I'm waiting to see what Mercer has to bring to the Devils. I really think he's going to be one of those players that are going to be better sooner than later. So I'm really anticipating to see what Mercer has to offer the Devils. And I really hope he earns a spot on the roster this year. If not this year, it's going to be soon. So Devils fans, keep an eye out on Dawson Mercer. He's one of our best prospects, and I think he's going to be a really good one for us down the line. And uh, uh, Alexander Holtz. There's a picture going on that he's wearing number 10 in, uh, you know, whatever practice sessions they're doing right now. So, um, you know, I thought he'd be wearing the number nine like he wore in um, for, the Big, for the Binghamton Devils last year. I thought he'd be wearing number nine up here, but, you know, it could be number 10. We'll have to wait and see what happens when he does uh, earn a spot with the Devils. So comment below what you think about today. What do you think about all this news do you like the PTO signings of um, the players that, that I mentioned in this video? Comment below and let me know. And thank you for watching. I really appreciate your time. Smash that like button if you haven't done so. And subscribe to the Hockey Skate Down. Join our hockey team. Thank you all so much. Have a great rest of the night. Have a great day tomorrow. Take it easy. Stay safe.